Hey guys, welcome back to Real Housewives Recaps. I'm so glad you're here. You guys, you found me on a great day. I always love recording with Biebs Kelly. She is so much fun. Please make sure you're subscribed to your channel or to her channel if you haven't already, but she's great. She's got the best personality. She really knows fashion and we really have some fun talks in this one. We specifically get into winter looks. We go through my favorite winter looks on Catherine, specifically which coats of hers I want to steal. And we talk about how Megan gets it wrong. So take a look. This is the first part, again, mostly about Catherine and the coats. In the next part, we go into how Megan gets most things very wrong, especially when it comes to clothing. <laughs> Well, and everything else. So uh, definitely keep a lookout for that. I'm excited for you to see it. She has more on her channel that we recorded. They'll be out in the next few days. So just watch both channels. Watch all the videos. I'm very excited to bring these to you. So without further ado, we're going to jump right in. And a huge thank you for being here. And uh, I'm just, I'm so glad to have you. Honk, honk, everybody. Let's talk winter. So I'm so excited to have with me Biebs Kelly. Biebs, thanks so much for being here. Hi, welcome back. Hi, you, thanks so much for having me. You don't know how many people have been requesting you to come back. So I'm so glad you're back. <laughs> Yay, thank you. Thank you so much. It's always so much fun to be here with you. Thank you. Oh, thanks. So we had had this conversation off my or offline where we talked about what do we want to talk about this go around. And both of us seem to love Catherine's winter looks. And we really haven't talked too much Catherine. So we're going to do um, more of Catherine's winter looks, but we're also going to talk about how very wrong Megan got it. So <laughs> we'll be talking some winter looks from Megan as well. But um, before we get into all that, tell us what you've been working on on your amazing channel and <laughs> all the stuff you have coming up, all the things. Tell us everything. What are you going to do? <laughs> oh, thank you so much. Yeah, we mostly talk fashion. And so, you know, just been going through all the usual stuff, new appearances, but we also like go back and look at older stuff because some of it still has us kind of scratching our heads. Some of the, yes. some of the older outfits from Megan, especially, but also it's so much fun to just look back at like Catherine's gorgeous stuff. So I'm, I'm so glad that we get to do that today. It's going to be so much fun. Yes. I'm excited too. I've been dying to go through these looks with you and get your opinions. And uh, so let's just jump right in then because I just can't wait to talk about this stuff. So I kind of put together the list of my, um, I think it was top six favorite coat looks of Catherine's. And they really range from, um, well, I guess you call it affordable to not so much, but <laughs> I'm excited to talk about all of them. Um, the first look I pulled here, this was from January, 2022. They had gone to the founding museum in London. So Catherine is rocking this beautiful coat from Jigsaw. Now, here's what's fun about this look that I love so much. I love, she's got a black turtleneck on and black wide leg pants. The turtleneck, $19.99. The pants, 95 pounds. So it makes me feel like, oh, I might be able to do this look. <laughs> I couldn't find the price on the jacket, but um, I think Jigsaw, I really, I meant to look this up. I believe it's maybe an affordable brand, I believe. I'm not sure. I need to look it up, but um, love this jacket. Love the pop of color. I'm talking too much. You tell me. What do you think? Um, yes, it is absolutely gorgeous. I mm -hmm. love this color. This color yeah. is amazing, it really especially is. on her, but I mean, it's just a beautiful color. Um, so yeah, I mean, that's like immediately I'm drawn to that, but something else I noticed right away is yeah. that the turtleneck itself underneath mm -hmm. has very interesting cuffs. It's almost like a split cuff. Oh, I didn't even notice. And Look at I you. Just, I just think that's so pretty. Those little, yeah. little details. Sometimes we don't no even notice them right away, but they just make yeah. something look so elevated. It makes it look so much more fancy, even when it's not necessarily. So I love those types of little simple details mm -hmm. and they're also easy to wear because it's not like it's going to add any, anything that can, you know, make it difficult to, to wear yeah. for most people. You know what I mean? It's down here on the cuffs. It's not going to interfere with your look or anything like that or make it hard to style. So yeah. I absolutely love that about that uh, turtleneck That's under there. Such a good point. It's not fussy. It adds interesting detail. You're right. 
Yeah, You're very right. Um, what are your thoughts? Are you okay with the black, with the black, with the blue? Does that bother you in any way? You totally you know it. Like it. It doesn't. I I totally like it. I know some people really don't like like navy and black together, and I get okay. why because it almost gives the impression that you just have mismatched blacks sometimes. Uh -huh. You know, when you have like really really dark blue or midnight blue next uh -huh. to black, it's like, well, you just did a bad job of matching your blacks. But uh -huh. um, when it's this, it it totally. I think this totally looks looks fine because it's a bright enough um it's a bright enough color that blue is that yeah. it, it really doesn't give the impression that it was you know what I mean it's not too close together yeah. at all so I think it works great I think so too and it's just a nice it's it's eye catching especially when winter especially in London can be dreary and dark and yes. it's just a nice pop of color so she wore the same coat 2 years earlier it was January 2020 to visit a preschool so again I love that it's relatable I mean most of us have to wear the same coat over and over. <laughs> you know? yep. One coat per season for most people. That's right. So um, good on her. I love that. And it, I just think, I mean, you know, classy, elegant, everything's mm -hmm. tailored within an inch of its life. It looks great. I love <laughs> yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. It looks perfect. Mm -hmm. And she also like, you know, she doesn't have her earrings. She's got bigger earrings on than sometimes she wears here. Uh -huh. I mean, they're not huge, yeah. but they don't uh, compete at all with it either. They're very harmonious and they go really nicely with the look. It's all really balanced because with turtlenecks, you know, sometimes you either got to lean into something real big with your earring or mm -hmm. it can get cluttered. If, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, if you do yeah. too much. And right. so she just does a really great job of everything looking in its place. Really. Absolutely. And I, it gives me hope seeing stuff like this because I can afford a $19 turtleneck, you know, and maybe if I style it just right, I can look like this. <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> At least that's what I tell myself, right? <laughs> okay, so moving on to my fifth choice here. Um, she wore this beautiful powder blue. Now you're going to notice a lot of blue on my choices. And can I just say, Biebs, you wore blue. You look beautiful. I love blue. <laughs> <laughs> Yay. I'm very partial to blue. And so I didn't I, realize it was on theme either. Yes. <laughs> I, you totally did that on purpose, right? <laughs> but, um, beautiful blue coat, powder blue coat. This is a C Catherine Walker coat dress. She wore in May of 2021 to a general assembly at the Church of Scotland. It's called a wrapped silhouette with asymmetric buttons, belted waist, and flare knee hemline. Go, Beebs, tell me what you think. Well, this is like one of the most flattering silhouettes ever, especially for mm -hmm. her. I mean, it's just, I love when she does things that have this A-line or have some fullness to the skirt and whatnot and are like, you know, nice and sleek and slim fit everywhere else. I just love it. It's perfect. Absolutely. So yeah, the silhouette in general is like one of my favorites ever for, Me for most too. people, but especially yeah. for Catherine. Yeah. Um, uh -huh. And then of course this color is super duper pretty. I love blues, especially in winter. I feel like yes. it's just such a good, good color for winter time. Uh -huh. And it's just beautiful. I mean, look, the pleats along this coat here are just gorgeously impeccable. It looks flowy and comfortable and just beautiful. Beautiful. I couldn't agree with you more, Biebs. You're so spot on. I, 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 yeah, everything you said. Absolutely. I even love the cuffs on the jacket. I just think it yes. adds interesting detail. It's beautiful. It does. Yeah. And in from the front view, this one, it's got that beautiful, beautiful wrap sort of detail here with the lapel and whatnot. It's kind of dramatic from the front, uh -huh. but it doesn't feel overwhelming or chunky in any yeah. way either. It's, it's great balance. But part of that is that she has the height for these things to not end up looking chunky, you know, and she's got a nice, really thin waist and stuff. So things like this don't necessarily overwhelm her figure or become difficult to wear, uh -huh. but not everybody could wear this and have it look quite as, you know, figure flattering you know what I mean because it's got yeah. a thicker belt and stuff like that but for her it's it's stunning perfect so uh, this is this might be a dumb question but you're you're so much better at this fashion than I am so when you have they're calling this a coat dress is it literally a coat that can be worn over something or are you intended to just keep it on this is your dress um, I think for the most part, you're intended to just keep it on. But mm -hmm. I mean, you wear something simple underneath, you know, like a little sheath dress or something, okay. um, gotcha. you know, basic underneath most of the time. Um, mm -hmm. 
But yeah, I think especially for for Catherine in these situations, she's wearing them as a literal dress that she's she's not planning yeah. on changing you know like sweater dresses it's yes the same type absolutely. of absolutely sure so if you had this in your closet this coat would you would you wear just a little sheath underneath is that what you're thinking yeah probably or like mm -hmm. for me i might wear like just like a slip dress or something underneath because sure. yeah i mean it's mm -hmm. it's cold where i am but it's not like oh. freezing so i probably sure. would <laughs> wouldn't yeah. want too many layers underneath <laughs> right. or i might get too hot <laughs> sure. but yeah yeah like a little slip dress or a sheath dress you know something okay that definitely can't be seen either because yeah. you'll notice sometimes at the hemline you can see just a glimpse of whatever dress she's wearing that underneath uh -huh. when she's in movement sure. um so that's not the lining of the dress but you can also see the lining of the dress of course a mm -hmm. lot of the times or the coat dress rather sure. but um usually it's got to be you know usually you try to make it at least a couple inches shorter than the hemline so that it doesn't peek out and kind okay. of clutter up the look at all yeah that's such a good point i didn't think about that Okay, so the moving right along again in my theme of blue. This I had I struggled. I actually want to put this higher on my list, but there's so many to choose from. So <laughs> my next pick, I love this. This was worn in January 2017. It's electric blue. I'll never say the company's name right. It's like Eponine, Eponine. I think it's it, Eponine. Eponine. Okay, it's called a London coat dress. She wore it to an early years parenting event which she had become patron of the year before 2016. It's from the autumn winter line 2016 collection. And she wore um, little sapphire earrings that we often see her wear. And I was learning about them as I was putting this together. It sounds like William gifted them to her around this. Uh, I think they thought it was around 2014 or so, but uh, William gifted to her and they believed that it was um, refashioned from a pair that were owned by Diana. Oh, very so, nice. Yeah, but talk to me about the coat, Biebs. What do you think about this cut? What do you think about the color? Oh. I absolutely love it. Of course, the color mm -hmm. looks great on her. She she oh. can really uh, wear so many different colors. I oh, feel like one color fair. that... <laughs> yeah, right. I feel like I don't see her in orange hardly ever. So that might mm -hmm. be one that's tricky for her. I don't know for sure, though. But I feel sure. like I just haven't seen. That's like one color that I haven't seen her in a ton. Yeah. But um, yeah, she looks great in it. It's beautiful. I love the cut of it. Again, if there were one thing that I would change about it, it's that the mm -hmm. belt is really close to that lower button. But that's okay. how it's meant to be. It's got belt loops. So it's sure. not like she chose that. That's just how the coat is. Yeah. And so... I don't particularly like how immediate it is under the button. It just okay. feels a little like cluttered in that one spot. Like it was kind of abrupt. Bam, okay. Belt, yeah. button, belt. But other than that, like that's being mm -hmm. nitpicky at that point because it's a gorgeous coat and it looks beautiful. It really that's, does. And I like, yeah. it's not like full length sleeve either, which is kind of uh -huh. nice for a coat dress. That's, you know, not going to make you feel too hot. <laughs> that is very true. And if you're shaking hands all day mm -hmm. and meeting people, yeah, you want, range of motions so. right exactly yes yeah so that's kind of nice too i mean she's i haven't seen very many coat dresses that are not full-length sleeves so that's kind of unique too i like that's that. a good point look at you noticing this stuff i love it <laughs> so if you were if i was gifting you this coat but this color was not available what color would you go for Oh my goodness, that's tough. I feel oh, like in hot. this, right? I'm like any of them. Yes. Everything is so beautiful. Uh -huh. <laughs> it would look so good in red too. It would look oh, great yeah. in like a bright, bright red. That would be it beautiful. Would. Yeah, I love. I keep noticing around the shoulder, or I guess what, going down to the arm. See that Extra that him. That, yeah, yep. I love it. I just think yeah. it adds interest. Yes. And, you Up know, there. it kind of reminds me of how, do you remember Meghan Markle wore that Dior? Was it Dior? No, Givenchy. Mm -hmm. It was Givenchy, I think. It's uh -huh. a, a capelet uh -huh. coat where it looked, we were talking about it one time, where it looked yes. like a long sleeve under a short sleeve type thing. Yeah. Was because, it the plaid one, I think? No, it's all black. It black. Okay. Uh -huh. This has the one button up here. She wore it when she was pregnant again, and she okay. wore it once beforehand. Uh I it think it was for a remembrance day. But anyway, point is mm -hmm. that one had actual fabric hanging off right here. Yes. That just looked kind yes. of awkward and strange. And uh -huh. I really don't like it. This is a better approach to that same sort of a vibe where it's still a seam here. It's still creating a line and an interest point, yes. like you said, but uh -huh. it's not actually hanging off the shoulders looking strange. It's clearly just a seam of the coat and the cut of the coat and whatnot. So yes. it lays flatter while still giving that interesting silhouette change. So 
yeah. much more successful here is the point. <laughs> I agree. I totally agree. I totally, I think I blocked out that May one. I'll flash it up <laughs> on the screen. I know what you're talking about now. Yeah. It added a weight. You're right. That isn't there with this one. Right. Exactly. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm. I love her coats. I just want to raid her coat closet so bad. <laughs> I know it. I know. And oh, she does such a good job of picking ones out that flatter her body type and that just look mm -hmm. like feminine and gorgeous. Yes. I mean, really. This, that even just what we were talking about with that seam, it just adds more of like a curved line that just follows as it goes down the flare of the coat dress. It's just it really nice feminine mm -hmm. looking, you know, style. It's, it's yeah. Really and I particularly, I really like like her hair in this photo. I like how they have it pinned back. I think it all kind of goes together. She looks It does. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's a nice soft, pretty hairstyle for yeah. this day. Yeah. Absolutely. Definitely. Okay, moving on. So, let's see. I've already lost count. I think this is my third. Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> favorite. <laughs> okay. So, this one is so based on what we just said, I'm going to sound like a lunatic, but I'm okay with it because this one does have the cape on it. But I love it. Um, this is, a, it's called Cinderella Blue Mulberry Cape Coat. This was for a trip to Northern Ireland in 2019. They went in February. It's a wool coat from the fall 2018 Mulberry Collection. And the cape is removable. There's actually two buttons on the sides that you can remove the cape if you don't want it. Talk to me, Beebs. What are your thoughts? Honest thoughts. Are you okay with this? I am. You know, I really like that. And when you said that the cape is removable, I was like, well, that is such a smart thing because then it makes it more versatile as you want to keep it. Then okay. like next time we see her in this, it might not have the cape and it'll look brand new. And so many people won't remember that it's it's a rewear from this. It just doesn't have the cape, you know? Absolutely. So that's a super smart investment for her mm -hmm. for the longevity of the item itself to have that. And it's, I love, I love when designers do stuff mm -hmm. like that, where you can kind of modify it a little bit or yeah, like sure. something removable to it is always mm -hmm. so nice. But yeah, no, I absolutely love the color. Mm -hmm. This one, it's still not like, because the cape comes down to her elbow. Yes. You know what I mean? It's not the uh -huh. same as that like strange Givenchy thing that was just right here and sewn on and part Absolutely. of the coat. It's not the same thing at all. So yeah, no, it's, it's, a, it's lighter design, I think. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And it's, it's open like this across the front. So you can really let the focal point be the, these big, beautiful buttons. And yeah. it's just really framed in nicely between the collar and the cape mm -hmm. and the belt. It just kind of keeps you right there, which is really nice too because it kind mm -hmm. of directs your eye to to see it right there in that little frame and then everything else just kind of flows so it doesn't uh -huh. overwhelm or come come off as too busy because on yeah. paper big buttons big collar cape uh -huh. lighter color belt that sounds like a lot but because yeah. of the way that they did it and it's all monochrome and it's all very s simple and like uh -huh. straight clean lines it doesn't look overwhelming at all you're absolutely right. Yeah, I, it could it could easily cross into costume almost or something. Right. I'm thinking Sherlock Holmes. Or, <laughs> yes, yes. Or uh, what's a um, uh, gosh, uh, Mary Poppins kind of thing. Mm -hmm. That's what I thought when I first saw it was Mary oh. Poppins. And but when you said Cinderella blue, I was like, oh, that's such a perfect perfect yes. way to describe that color. That is exactly what color that is. It's gorgeous. It takes me to my, one of my all time favorite gowns I've discussed before with you is that ice blue dress she wore. Oh um, yes. Just kind of take that color. So good on her. Yes. When she, the, yeah. she had her tiara on and all of that. Yes. Yeah, yes, oh. yes. 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 Yeah. I know which Gorgeous. one you're talking about. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. I love this coat so much. Um, And the outfit she wore underneath I love it's a Jenny Packham dress. And the, oh. again, that that blue, it's the most beautiful shade of blue. Yes. It's a little bit different than the coat, but I like mm -hmm. it together. What yes. Are your thoughts on that. Yes. Yes. Oh, yeah. It's a perfect pairing because they're both similar enough blues mm -hmm. that they go together really great. So if she were to have, you know, the hemline of her her uh -huh. skirt dress underneath show or something it wouldn't be like oh those clash or anything like that yeah it looks sure. absolutely beautiful and part of why it works so well is 
or wouldn't be as noticeable is mm -hmm. that she chose a slightly darker blue for yeah. underneath. Uh -huh. So it really works well. Like if you are going to have a coat that you plan on wearing most of the time, if you have a darker color underneath, it just seems to like flow better and go a little better than if it's like dark coat with a white dress. I just think yeah. that tends to work better. I think you're so right. Absolutely. Yeah. And this blue Beautiful. is just oh, gorgeous. It I'm matches dying. her ring. Yes. Like thank you. Yes. And you can clearly see the earrings that uh, William gave oh, her there. Oh, those are them. Oh, yeah. They're beautiful. Beautiful. Yep. She often wears them. They're so pretty. And I like, I didn't even realize that they were potentially repurposed out of some of Diana's jewelry. I think that's pretty cool. That is really cool. I Turn wonder up. how this closely. Maggie Poo off. Yeah. <laughs> yes, probably. <laughs> I, wonder, I wonder how closely they matched her engagement ring if they're like really similar or if yeah. it was, you know what I mean? Because in the was... pictures, it appears pretty similar, but you know, it's hard to tell. Yeah. 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 Um, any issue with the black belt on this dress with the, mm. with, I don't know, with all of it, with oh, the coat? Yeah. You okay no. with it? I just noticed it. I didn't see it at first. Um, no, I don't mind it at all. I wonder mm -hmm. if this is part of the garment itself. I wow. wondered because it's the where it sits. I wouldn't think yes. that she would have done that per se. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I, I, I wondered the same. Yeah, I think it might be part of the garment because I'm just mm -hmm. not seeing like loops or anything. Yeah. And uh -huh. the way it looks here, it looks like it's part of the fabric it looks mm -hmm. definitely like part of the dress it reminds me of um do you remember when they did the coronation walkabout she had a white sheath dress that had a black belt i'm sure if i saw sleeve. it i yeah. just don't remember it ever. reminds me of that it looks almost right. the exact same it's just really simple mm -hmm. perfect slim fit just exactly what she needs i love how clean and sleek she makes things look and part of that is her figure and whatnot but also yes. just choosing stuff that's just simple like this uh -huh. it allows like those the jewelry and things like that to not become too busy and too much you know the way that we sometimes see with some other people yes I too much happening <laughs> and and it's that whole if you do i mean it is a simple dress but it's just mm -hmm. so perfectly fit and i think yes you have to get that right, especially when you go simple. She always does. It's really exactly. not fair. <laughs> yeah, it's it's not. But I always also... like to hate her, but she seems wonderful. So I love her. Yeah. <laughs> what were you going to say? Well, it's also part of why the coat dresses are so successful is because she uh -huh. just, you know, she lets those shine when she wears them, which I think is why they've become a little bit, I mean, iconic for her, for, for yeah. me at least, that like she just really lets those do the work for her a lot of the time, like blazers or coat dresses. Yeah. They, they are kind of the boss of the outfit and it, a lot, mm -hmm. it takes the pressure off. The rest of your outfit can be more simple because you have something that's already, you know, yeah, giving you the polished finish and is looking interesting in and of itself and it's got mm -hmm. plenty of fabric and stuff, then the rest of it can stay simple. And I think that's more similar to how we dress too. Sometimes, yes. you know, we just, we're, a lot of people are buying more basic things or stuff uh -huh. like that, or they get, you know, put together outfits. They don't want them to be too over the top and cluttered or, you know, too much Absolutely. on. And so it yes. just, even, even yeah. though these are like such fabulous or expensive things, sometimes it mm -hmm. still feels relatable in the approach. Yes. I agree with you. Yep. Oh, gorgeous. Gorgeous. Okay. Uh, then my second choice, and I might say tied for first because I'm obsessed. I have been lusting after this jacket. Okay. So this is a plaid coat by Holland and Cooper. It's called the Marlboro Trench Coat. It was worn for a visit to Edinburgh. Uh, these earrings were on loan from the queen. And let's see. Oh, I made a note. So Holland Cooper, who made this coat, they also made, I don't know if you remember this. She wore this Fair Isle sweater. She's worn a couple times. The one that comes to mind is she did a bedtime story for CBDs. Mm -hmm. And she was gorgeous. And it just looks so like something we would have in our closets, right? Casual, yes. but cozy and, and, and nice. And so same makers, again, Holland and Cooper. I'm obsessed with this coat. I love the plaid. I love the colors, the deep purples you got going on the greens the blues it's beautiful and then the gold hardware i'm obsessed talk to yes. me about the coat beebs this is one of my all-time favorite uh ah. coats that she's ever had yeah <laughs> yeah so this one i mean it's just beautiful i love how dramatic it is too with it's got this 
big, long cut. You know what I mean? It's a very uh -huh. long coat. A lot of the times her coat dresses are more knee length. This one's nice and long, but yes. it doesn't feel overwhelming still in part because they stopped the buttons early enough. Thank goodness. They didn't try to like overdo yeah. it. <laughs> uh huh. But also all that hardware, like you said, you know, the buttons and all of that, they really pop. They're nice and bright against that dark, rich coat. Uh -huh. And so it keeps your eyes up at the top. So it doesn't become too busy or overwhelming despite having quite a bit going on. Yeah. And I just love it. You know, she can she can yeah. have all these buttons and belts with her figure and it's not uh -huh. going to widen her or complicate things at all. She's got both height and nice slender figure to carry uh -huh. it sure. really well. And yeah, the colors are just gorgeous because each one of these colors on their own look great on her. So them all together, it's mm -hmm. not going to overwhelm her. Okay. You know, if it had like some random color in there that didn't necessarily work as easily for her uh -huh. on its own, it might not have been quite as harmonious because I mean, sure. it is busy in, yeah. in the plaid. You've got mm -hmm. Beautiful purple and green, mm -hmm. which some people say don't go well together. I disagree. I think they go I great. I disagree too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then the blues, and it looks to be a couple different tones of blue in there. Uh -huh. So it's just gorgeous. I absolutely it love it. I love it too. Yeah. And I, I don't know if if it's a scam or what's going on, but I looked into this coat and it acts like it's only like $150. <laughs> completely shocked me. And I say it like that because I can't find the actual listing for the coat, just like resellers. Right. So it's probably a scam, but I'm obsessed Maybe. and I might get scammed down $150 because <laughs> I love this coat. <laughs> it is amazing. And you know, though, um, you said it was Holland and Cooper, right? Yes. Yeah. They She's worn... Recently, she had on, uh, I think it was maybe Oct early October. I don't remember. Uh -huh. Anyway, recently, she wore a Holland and Cooper outfit when she went to um, on an engagement with the Life Fest and stuff. Um, okay. Was it the oh, RAF yes. or something? Yeah, I just yeah. talked about that. Yes. Her, so, it inflated. Yes. Yeah, yes she was so cute. Um, so cute. Uh -huh. Yes, she was wearing Holland and Cooper that day. Oh. And then she wore another one of their, I think, blazers or pantsuits or something okay. a couple of weeks later. So she's really worn a lot of their stuff. And I like a lot of their stuff. It's very polished, but it always mm -hmm. has a little something to spruce it up. Like this okay. one with its gold buttons and buckles and whatnot, just give yes. it a little something extra, those embellishments. Uh -huh. And I think that they can be a little bit more affordable. I mean, they're still kind of expensive, but yeah, I no, I, if I remember it. correctly, it. uh -huh. it's not like insanely expensive, that brand. Yeah. Yeah. I, I just love it. I'm obsessed. So if you have this coat in your closet, what are you wearing underneath? Not to get personal. I just, <laughs> <laughs> no, do you, is this your dress? Or are you just keeping on the coat with something similar underneath? Or are you? Yeah, I you, would probably, yeah, because it has a lot going on, unless you could match a color perfectly. Like if you could get the exact same purple okay. or green or an exact same blue, just because it has so much color to it already. If you could match it perfectly with one of the colors, any Okay. of the colors, even uh -huh. if it was just something small in the coat. If sure. you could have a perfect match, if you couldn't get a perfect match, black might be your safest bet just okay. because it's already kind of busy. But I mean, yeah. if you're keeping the coat on, it doesn't matter too much, especially because this one's nice and long. It doesn't, uh -huh. you know, inner, it's not going to reveal your dress underneath too True. much if you keep it closed because it's sure. nice and long. I love that she chose to pull her hair back for this one. It shows off the beautiful detail in the shoulders too. Yes. Yeah. I think if her hair were down, it would feel too closed in even for her because it does uh -huh. have a chunky collar that's it up. Does. It does have a chunky lapel. And mm -hmm. like you said, those shoulder details with the gold here, you want to show it off. But also if you have so much closed in, it's going to yeah. be it's claustrophobic kind of. You're this right. One. You're right. And she did... It, you brought this up. She does thoughtful details with her jewelry. It's not, they're not competing. I don't think right. it's not overwhelming. It's not, let me wear every piece of jewelry I've ever had. <laughs> exactly. And because they, even though they, they look like they don't have gold necessarily, the uh -huh. earrings, uh -huh. but that's okay because they're, they look to be a sapphire to me yeah. on my screen. So too. Yeah. So that blue will match the coat perfectly. So it's totally True. fine. Okay. Cool. Even though they don't match the buttons perfect. They do match the coat and they're a similar size to the buttons, mm -hmm. which kind of makes it feel cohesive and intentional too. Gotcha. So then last question on this, and then I promise we can move on. I'm just obsessed with this. If you're not built like Catherine, like the rest of us, you know what I mean? Like, do you feel like this is um for most uh, women? Do you think most women could pull this off? Or do you think in this case it, it 
it helps to be built like Catherine. I mean, if you were to mm -hmm. not think too hard of it, it, uh -huh. yeah, it would be harder to pull off for most people. Like, for example, okay. for me, it would uh -huh. need to be much, 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 much shorter. Uh -huh. <laughs> or else sure. I would look like a weird little hobbit in like a robe. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> it just would not work well. Sure. Um, but that's in part because it's got all these buttons and the belts and stuff. So if you don't have a really well-defined waist okay. and or height, to uh -huh. really carry it and leave, leave it room to kind of do its thing. You know what I mean? All those things will turn into kind of clutter and, and okay. widen you and shorten you and stuff like that and just feel too mm -hmm. busy. It'll feel like too much okay. for some people. Uh -huh. But ultimately, if you have this coat, you love this coat, you're obsessed with it uh -huh. and you feel confident in it, then yeah. it'll work. You know, those Go are the times it. yeah. where it's like, that's not necessarily what somebody might put you in for uh -huh. your body type, but you're rocking it because uh -huh. you love it so much. So, I mean, that's always going to make a big difference. That's true. <laughs> I think so too. You if it makes you feel fabulous. Yeah. Cool. That's what matters. I'm going to tell Jay, you gave me permission to go buy this coat. I'm yes. going to buy this coat. <laughs> <laughs> no, I do. I'm obsessed. I love this coat so much. Me um, too. It's gorgeous. It's always been one of my favorites because in part, awesome. it's got so much more to it than some yeah. of hers that it was like, wow, cool. Yeah. Wow, they actually, this. when I was reading about it, the press wrote it up as a bold choice for her. Mm -hmm. And if I didn't get that at first, I was like, I don't think it's bold, but I totally get what you're saying. And I see now why they say that it is, it's just different. Yeah. And her. it is yeah. more busy than a lot of the stuff that she would wear and mm -hmm. being more busy, it is not mm -hmm. as easy for some people to wear, but True. I mean, she, yeah. she can always wear those things. She's I so know. lucky because she's got that perfect combination that uh -huh. that's, that's basically what designers design clothes for or on, you know what I mean? They use these taller, slender figures to mm -hmm. kind of construct their design. So it's always going to look like best or ideal True. on her, yeah. which is great for her. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. No, I agree. And then we have to talk my number one choice here. This was worn December, 2022 Westminster uh, together at Christmas. This is a Catherine Walker it's called bow tie coat, uh, sorry, bow tie coat dress, but it's spelled B E A U bow tie coat dress. Now what's fun about this when I was researching is she owns one in scarlet red, as we can see, she also owns one in black. And, um, it's, it was described as a scarlet red wool coat dress with pleats falling gently from the shoulder to tie into a romantic bow neckline. This is the, this, she wore this when she was playing the piano during the Christmas service. Talk to me about this. I'm obsessed. Okay. I absolutely love this. Mm -hmm. I, I didn't realize that you're saying that like the bow is mm -hmm. something you get to tie. So I don't think so. When I was, oh, okay. the way they described it was like that, but I, I did every picture I saw looked like it was pre-done i don't right I don't okay i was gonna say if so she did an amazing job <laughs> yeah. tying that thing <laughs> because wow it looks perfect <laughs> i was gonna yeah. be like what that's yeah. crazy she did that that all by herself okay that makes a little bit more sense okay <laughs> yeah <laughs> because like it's perfectly laid here yeah. yeah yeah so that's why i was like really <laughs> yeah i know i could never exactly yeah. mine would look flopping wow. and crazy yeah uh, it looks so okay yeah that's that makes a little more sense. Okay. Um, yeah, no. So this is really, really beautiful. I love the fact that I was actually recently looking at this one too before today. I was like, oh, this uh -huh. one's really pretty. Um, uh -huh. Because the rest of the coat is so simple or the coat dress, the rest of it is yes. so simple and plain. It really uh -huh. allows that bow to just stay the focal point, which of course is right up by her gorgeous face. Yes. So it's really perfect. If you think about it that way, it just keeps your eyes right here and just sort of frames her right here like a little present. It's just uh -huh. perfect. I love it. And the color on her is stunning. Uh -huh. And she matched her lip to it. Oh. She doesn't usually do red lipstick very often. Uh -uh. So that was a really fun pop as well. She looks just radiant. And um, wasn't this was the first Christmas concert, wasn't it? This year, that, that year. Uh, yeah, it was in December 2022. She also last year, I believe, wore that beautiful Gosh, it was like a berry color. That was for a different yes. event. I yes. love that. The wine yes. sort of 
Yes. Yeah. Mer- yes. Merlot or something colored. I yes. almost put that on my list. I love that look too. But yes. yeah, this was, um, it just said she wore it to Westminster together at Christmas. This okay, perfect. Yeah. So I think this was the first time that she did that royal mm-hmm. carols with royals or whatever concert. Uh-huh. I think that was the first year she did it when she played the piano and whatnot. So that was okay. really special. And what an yeah. iconic dress to pick something really bright kind of Uh bold you know she does red pretty often but like this Uh time of year it's like the perfect showcase around the holidays you know like this was Uh just gorgeous perfect choice and i love you know the cuffs here they have nice dramatic buttons but they're the exact Mm -hmm. same so there's just nothing taking away from that bow being the focal point yeah i think so because i think it could cross into what's the word like campy kitschy i don't know (laughs) really easily with a big bow right by your face but no i just i think you're so right the simplistic style otherwise it's perfect. Yes. It's perfect. Yeah. It lets it lets it be still still nice and polished and mm-hmm. and, and yeah balanced because yeah. yeah you're right it can and you know in pictures where she's sitting down in this mm-hmm. one the bow does look a little over dramatic or a little uh-huh. bit big it looks a little bit heavy you know uh-huh. when she's sitting down uh-huh. but when she's standing up it doesn't and okay. and it's still because it's all still one color and whatnot mm-hmm. it's still fine you know what I mean because there's nothing else I think if she would have done a ton of earrings or something, you know, some big dramatic hat that would uh-huh. have gone well because yes. bow hat would have looked super strange. <laughs> so much so, going on. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So it was a good, a good styling approach for a coat like this that has something a little bit more dramatic or heavy. And, okay. and it works. I think it works really well for her. Good. Yeah, I think so too. Definitely don't want to bring the mood down, but I'll tell you, she, she has it in black. She wore it to prince philip's funeral and then she wore it to an event the night before um her majesty the late queen's funeral so she she's definitely she's a fan of the dress the coat dress and she's worn it like i say in black and now in red um so my question to you beebs is what do you is this is this it meaning do you wear something underneath uh or do you just again keep it simple just this is your focal point I think this is your focal point for mm-hmm. sure, because this one, it doesn't look like you would really be able to wear it open very successfully. The bow is yeah. probably attached to just one side of the jacket. Uh-huh. So trying to wear it open wouldn't, wouldn't, it wouldn't work. work. Yeah. yeah. So definitely. I mean, like you would still wear something underneath. Sure. You wouldn't just be mm-hmm. in your, you know, knickers. <laughs> underneath. Yeah. There. You would wear something <laughs> underneath it, sure. but yeah, you wouldn't. Uh, you wouldn't pl- be planning on showing that off. So okay. it wouldn't really matter what you wore underneath so long as it was nice and slim fit and didn't cause any puckering or bulging or anything. Yes. Shining Lines. through. Yeah. yeah true. Yeah. I do. I'm obsessed. I keep looking at her hair and her makeup here. I think they did just such a yes. nice job. Yes. Yes. I bet she had somebody uh, do her makeup for this day because she was getting up for that performance. True. I remember yeah. um, – some of the news was showing some clips that before she went up, she looked really tense and stuff. And William was like making her laugh or something like that. Like he was trying to ease her nerves because she was nervous to play the piano, obviously for this, like, cause it was just live broadcast. You know, she wasn't like a recording where they could be like, take two, Uh one, we screwed up. (laughs) It wasn't like that. So she was a little nervous and Mm -hmm. they were talking about how he was, you know, kind of, cheering her up and stuff so cute oh i love it i didn't realize i have to go back and look at the footage now that's so cool yeah it was super sweet because yeah they were like she looked really nervous and kind of steely they said or something like that in the article and then Uh he was kind of like you know talking to her a little bit and made her laugh and then Uh kind of relaxed a little bit it was it was cute that is cute before (laughs) we go away from these coats any other thoughts on coats if you could be gifted one of these coats is there one that jumps out that i know that's a hard question oh my god in your closet in your size which coat you take in i know that's hard it's such a difficult choice i would say the first one because that color is like so unique and i'm obsessed with but i would probably Mm -hmm. actually go with the second one that we talked about that had the a-line and Mm -hmm. was a little bit because i could hem it easier for my length for my for my body type i would Mm -hmm. so go for that and i love those sorts of swishy skirts they're just so much fun to wear they feel so pretty on uh-huh. So that's what I would go for for practical reasons. Okay. <laughs> what would, would you, you have it? Uh, would you have it in that powder blue or would you do a different color? Oh, I might not do the powder blue just mm-hmm. because 
lighter blues can sometimes wash me out a little bit. I might choose some. I like different. the color you're wearing now so oh, thank much. Thank you. Thank if that you. dress was in that color, I think it'd be so good on you. I really do. Which which coat dress would you want? I oh my gosh. Oh, uh, that's so hard. Um, my instinct is to say that plaid one. I just I don't know how often I could wear it. So if we're gonna be right. practical. I may go with that electric blue one, that e yes, the eponine. Love it. Yeah. So let me ask you again. I'm not to make this about me. I'm six foot tall. Mm -hmm. Would that make a difference in this thing? I get. I mean, it just it fall shorter on me, but who cares? I just. Yeah. No, it would be like maybe an inch or two shorter on you, but not mm -hmm. by much. Because remember, she's like five nine, five ten, yeah. something like that. Like I mean, so True. she's almost. Mm -hmm. Um, no, I think it would be totally fine, especially mm -hmm. because like, if you think about it, the size that you get, they tend to add a different amount of length too. So like, it should be True. proportionate yeah, sure. to an extent. Mm -hmm. Um, but yeah, no, I think that would look lovely on you. That color okay. would be stunning. It would be perfect. That's probably my favorite shade of blue. I love Is it. it? Oh, oh think, yes. yeah. That electric blue. I just love it. Yeah. I think it's just so nice. It, I think it's a way to, I wear it a lot because I think it's a way to make yourself look more interesting with very little effort. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> the bright colors that's so me you know what i mean i yeah. want to wear very i want to do very little effort i just want to look like i tried <laughs> yes yeah well that's what's so nice about clothes if you can mm -hmm. find certain things that you really like and that uh -huh. fit you good then mm -hmm. yeah you can get it in just brighter colors or different you know interesting mm -hmm. patterns so long as it works for you and then yeah you can just kind of let it let it carry your outfit. That's yes. what I always say about blazers. People don't realize sometimes people are kind of anti blazer mm -hmm. or, you know, cardigans, you know, just things like that, that you can toss on top. But I'm always mm -hmm. like, dude, if you just have like a basic t-shirt or a basic tank top and you put a blazer on, you suddenly look like you put through so much more effort and thought and you <laughs> look so true. much more polished, but all you yeah. did was put an extra thing on. That's it. Yeah. So they're That's kind of a, a, uh -huh. a hack. <laughs> yes. And I tell you, since Catherine's been wearing so many more of the, the pants with the blazers and stuff, it's got me inspired. I'm like, oh, I don't have any reason to dress like that, but I want to because she looks gorgeous. <laughs> yeah. Well, you still can. Even uh -huh. I mean, like, even if you're not doing anything uh -huh. fabulous that day, right. like, there's nothing wrong we'll with dressing up. up. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Like, uh, my grandmas, they always used to say that they used to just dress in so much more, you know, put together stuff, uh -huh. dresses yeah. and, you know, jackets and stuff like that all the time. They weren't running around in sweatpants ever and uh -huh. wear all this generations of sweatpants and leggings and stuff all over the place. And, you know, I, I think about that sometimes, like, now nah, just wear something a little nicer today, like they did, you know, and yeah. just see how you feel. And you do feel more put together and you do feel more confident and, mm -hmm. and secure in what you're wearing in some ways. It's some at first feels a little funny. Like, why am I putting on a full outfit to just run errands mm -hmm. today? That's silly. But then sure. you feel better. You feel better. Yeah. Kind of nice. <laughs> Sometimes. I agree. I agree. Yeah, absolutely. So get a blazer, Jen. Okay. <laughs> I'll get a, I'll you promise to go shopping with me and help me pick out a blazer, Beebs. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's funny. I, I know you guys listening can't see, but I'm where I literally am laughing because I'm looking down. I wore a basic like black V shirt, but I wore a plaid cardigan over top because again it just kind of gives you that pop right <laughs> yes exactly yes something just a little okay yeah I went one step beyond t-shirt that's right I dressed up for you beeps <laughs> yes <laughs> <laughs> yep Oh but I, I I do the same uh -huh. I don't I don't yeah. put forth that effort all the time but sometimes uh -huh. I think about it of like you know just how you feel in different clothes can yeah. it change your mood and stuff like that so sometimes it's helpful to to try even though it seems silly sometimes no you i know. agree i think you're spot on i think you're right all right shall we move on to may it's hard to move off of those beautiful coats let's talk some some uh winter mistakes if you will <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> we're going to talk some of Megan's looks here. So we're going to end it here and we are going to continue this conversation. I will be posting the next part probably tomorrow. So check back for that. And again, Biebs will have more on her channel in the next few days. So definitely make sure you are subscribed to Biebs Kelly's channel. She's wonderful. She's even nicer in person, if you can imagine that. <laughs> uh, but so sweet, so kind. Thank you again, Biebs, uh, for taking the time and recording this with me. And I'm so excited for you guys to see more to this series. So again, thank you for watching. Thank you for being here. I can't wait to bring you more stuff like this. So check back soon. I'll talk to you again soon. Bye-bye.